Well, Max, thank you for coming here. Thanks for coming to QPAC. We've got Max Gillies, star of Once Were Leaders, today talking to us for five minutes about everything. <laughs> Maybe not everything. Everything. About everything. Do you remember the first piece of art or theatre, music, dance, book that had that impact on you? Well, whatever it was, it was such a long time ago that I can't, I can't say, oh yeah, that was, the, the first movie that made an impression on me, because it was so magic, was a Walt Disney cartoon feature, I don't know how old I was, but it was, would have been Pinocchio. Oh yeah. And I don't know why I remember that, but it, it well, I think it was the colour, the movement, mm. the storytelling, it's a wonderful it's a good story, story too, it's a good yeah. story. But seriously, as a performer, the, the first performers that made an impact were people like Charlie Chaplin, mm -hmm. the Marx Brothers. Oh, yeah. And they're all sort of come from Vaudeville Theatre. Yeah. Um, some of them virtually stayed in Vaudeville <laughs> Theatre. And of course, our Australian Vaudevillian that I remember affectionately and made a huge impact on me when I was. Uh, when I was a kid and I was lucky enough to see him live uh, was George Wallace. Okay, so as you said you've been on stage for a couple of years now. Uh, yep. What, if you could sum up three words that best describe theatre or live performance? I've always liked Bertolt Brink's description of the theatre as a laboratory, oh, that's as good. a social laboratory, which in my mind means an experimental place where society can speculate about itself and about either as members of the audience, the personal side of it, or the social mm -hmm. uh, experience. It's a laboratory, a workshop, mm -hmm. where you imagine what the world might be, where you try to show each other what you think the world is really like. Mm. So it's both be. of those. Or, and or should be. It's got all those possibilities. It's an imaginative laboratory, workspace mm. for society. And uh, not to put it quite as pretentiously as that, it's what children do in playgrounds. Mm -hmm. So it's either a laboratory or a playground, or both. Do you think going back, if you were starting out now, you'd be on YouTube? Oh, well, I think. I'd have to, I'd have to learn how to. <laughs> You'd have to embrace it. it. It's a wonder to behold. I mean, you can. Um, I discover amazing people and amazing mm. things on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. You'd have to do that. Mm. I still like the theatre. Yes. Uh, the, the public stage. I like live performance, and yes. I don't think live performance will ever die. Mm. We're glad uh, you hope, say that. I, well, I hope it doesn't. Uh, but in my lifetime, and I've been around for quite a while now, the death of theatre mm. has been announced many times, a number of times, as many times as the death of God right. has been announced. But old habits die hard, live performance doesn't die, and God hasn't died either, <laughs> like despite the best attempts of the... Um, descendants of the Enlightenment. <laughs> yes, very true. And like they say, books have been dying now for half a century. And also. books, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All these dead things. When the you... old world won't lie down. No. <laughs> no. They're still here. <laughs> Glad to hear it. If you had advice for how not to end up as a caricature on stage, what would it be? Don't go into politics. <laughs> Don't go on stage. <laughs> Don't appear in public because... Uh, Just don't go out the front door. Don't go out the front door because anybody who does put themselves out in the public arena in any sense, let alone attempt to be the leader of the nation, is asking, not necessarily for trouble, but asking for parody. What can't you leave the house without? Something to read or something to listen to. Oh, perfect. Um, a book or a... Podcast. Tablet or a yeah, podcast or music. I mean, I've got the modern disease. You've got to just walking <laughs> down the street or waiting for a bus or a tram uh, is 
boring as batshit without something to stimulate the mind. It's true. It's true. <laughs> That's great. That's all from me. Thank oh, you. Done. Thanks. Thank you. That's it.